Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, the impedance or the impedance analysis workflow that's available in uh, AllCAD PCB Designer Professional and Allegro PCB Designer now. Um, this was waterfalled into uh, both those levels at QIR7, which was Hotfix 48 of uh, 17.2. So what this does is actually give us some of the, the SIGRITY technology inside of PCB Editor now. So um, normal kind of workflows with this would you would kind of finish a board you would send it over to your security engineer he would then do some analysis impedance and coupling that type of thing and then he'd send you the results back and you might have to make some changes to your routing etc we can now do this directly inside of a walker piece of a designer professional so if we look at the um the analyze menu there's now something called workflow manager <coughs> um this is a dockable pane so obviously we, we i've just got mine docked over here on the on the right hand side um, so we've got an impedance workflow um, there's a couple of other there's a coupling workflow as well but I'll cover in another video but we'll do impedance workflow here um, so we can either select this based on nets so if we did a selected nets we can just go and choose the nets that we're interested in or we can actually do something called a, a directed group um, so if we select a directed group we can actually base this on a specific component so I'm gonna um, just hide the the RLC components and I'm looking for my FPGA which is U2 and then it's going to show me any associated components with U2. So here's my two memory devices. So I can pick both of those and we'll create effectively a directed group. Um, and this is effectively all of my, my DDR memory here. So once I have the group, I can then start the analysis. So when the analysis um, completes, uh, we've then got a couple of options. We've got an impedance table and an impedance vision. So let's look at the impedance vision first. And what this does is basically set colors of the of, of the, the nets that I, I selected in the directed group based on the actual impedance um, on, a, on a colorable scale basically now if I'm not interested in, in nets here I can effectively just drag these around to find the ones that I'm really really interested in or you can leave this as default and you can kind of zoom in and see where you potentially you might have some issues with with different colors of impedance there's also an impedance table so let's look at the impedance table um, and again, this is a dockable window, so we can look at each individual net that we're worried about, and we've got effectively a, a minimum value, a maximum value. Let's get the right part of the table. So we've got a minimum value, a maximum value, and a typical value for the net. So I've got one here, effectively DDRA12, and if we look at DDRA12 now, I can start to see I've got a, a real drop, so a maximum value of 131 ohms down to a minimum value of 70 ohms. So if we kind of double click where this is on the location, it'll actually zoom and center the screen to where it is and show me the colored area of the net. So we'll just simplify the display. Let's just turn everything off and we'll look maybe at the bottom track. So you can see effectively that's that's the track. And if I lend the, the, the associated plane with that, you can see I've actually got a split in the plane. Um, so, you know, it's quite a short length of track, it might not cause you any issues, but it's something that you might want to consider, maybe just um, maybe adjusting the plane or the splitting the plane, moving it somewhere else, so that these tracks are 100% covered, but that's for you to decide. 